Hi, good evening everyone and welcome to the Island Gardeners. Uh, Kalila is here behind the camera and I'm here with Jean and she's going to give us the a little tour. The Empress. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to give us a little tour of her side yard and backyard garden <laughs> and see what she has going on here. So as you can see, she grows her veggies in pots and they're doing extremely well. So uh, Jean, come on, tell us, tell us your secret. How are you, how well, are you doing this and how long you been doing it? My sister-in-law is also a big part in this because she do most of it, but Darn. I don't think she want to go and kill her. <laughs> well, yes. so but right now we're in uh, Northeast Palm Bay here in Florida mm -hmm. and people think, again, you need a big yard to have a garden but no. Jean is proving to us that's that's not true right exactly so tell us a little bit about what you have and these are you know what you call them pallets pallets yes. so we get the pallets they did the lay the roof over there not too long uh -huh. yeah. and we collect them because we had them on the floor the ground and then we said oh let's put them up here so we get the pallets and um perfect so that's at the side of your yard you have tell us a little bit about what you have here so that is Brussels sprout. So All Brussels. of these are Brussels sprout. And they're putting and if, on. If you want to go under there, you can catch the Brussels yeah, under the leaves there. Those are big under there. Wow, who knew? Yeah. Some people don't even know how Brussels sprouts come and about. They grow, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And then this is longevity. You can use it in your salad, in your soup. You can make tea with it. And it's very good. It's good for a lot of things. Nice. A lot of things, I yeah. heard. Yeah. Now you have cucumber, cucumber. Oh, and they're doing the little. And these well. not didn't plant that too long ago, but they thrive. They come up fast, and yes. it's from seed. Wow. So we have cucumbers, Brussels sprouts, and then you have the kale, and kale, and the and the colored greens. Okay, perfect. Everybody, you also have the other color um, one over there too. But now you have the lettuce. That is French thyme. Okay. We had celery, but they was too small, so we pulled them out. So some over there. And your yeah. mint as well. And the mint. This make good tea. You can do it with ginger, lemon, you can mix it. And this one is good for pain. And for pain and yeah. for stomach, you know, upset yeah, stomach. Mint, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Then you have the thyme over there. They're doing so well too. This is okra. Yeah, we're going to um, transplant them in the back. Now, you said that and you had a green thumb, right? How yeah. long have you been gardening? A long time, a lot of years, <laughs> maybe about four years or so. Oh, Ever wow. since we, yeah, even when I used to live in the farm bay over that side. You've been and growing your... And all of that, yeah. No, what you, you have a blueberry plant, yeah. Yeah, this is another, um, you know this one? Yeah, the dinosaur kale. kale. Yes, yes, I love it too. Oh, oh this yeah, is good. Yeah. And you can cut it in your salad too. You don't have to cook them, you know. Yeah. I cut them up in in the salad also. Yeah. Then you have the, um, the blueberry berries. over there. And these are the cut up. This is celery. lettuce. We have lettuce. Even the um the romaine. They finish. We eat them off. <laughs> so you can actually have a whole meal here. You can yeah. cook your Brussels sprouts. Yeah. You can make your salad. You have salad things. every day. We used to come out and have salad for the two away every oh, day. Oh wow! And um and and the greens. The greens. And you speak of a plants doing extremely well. Yes. And that, wow. Now we have bell pepper. These grow and we eat them already. So also, I'm gonna just to this start happening. Maybe they eat and all of that. But they get they grow big and we eat them in the salad and all. So ladies and gentlemen, I just and want to show you the size of her garden. And and this is another mint. Um black mint. Um peppermint. Our peppermint. Look like you know, spearmint, peppermint one of those. Yeah. Sweet mint. Sweet mint. Sweet mint. Sweet mint. Okay. What do you say to gardeners who are scared, who are thinking, well, yes, you know, I can't man. do much because I don't have a big um, backyard or I don't have the time. What do you say to them? Well, um, you don't have to have a big backyard because, you know, you can get the pallets or you can do the brick also you know the brick where you use make house you can use those too oh and use the boards with those i have that in the back okay are we are we gonna see the back yeah. so that's a sweet mint 
Yeah, and this pepper. pepper, this I think is habanero, but it grows a lot of pepper. Yeah, and they hot. I'm one end of the habanero because it is so hot. Yes. Spicy. Nice. Yeah. It grows a lot, a lot. And see, full of blossom now. So. Yeah, how long you have it? Not too long ago. Some months ago, it grew fast. Oh, really? Yeah. This year, we get it yeah? this year. Yeah. So when you're in Florida, you can grow many different um, variety of plants yes. because of the weather. And this is seed, pepper seed that we use the pepper and then we throw it in there. The and same it's not catch. No, not that pepper. Oh, oh, it's yeah, regular okay. pepper. So, so Jean, it sounds like you do have that green thumb. <laughs> yes, I think I do. And me and my sister-in-law, both of us. Yeah, I see oh. our tomatoes we get tomato here. off of this before. We eat a lot of tomato off of it. Oh, and this pine, I never think it will come back. Oh, I got it from my mother. We eat the pine and I plant it. But it takes a long time. And day to day, look, I see it come up yes. and it just starts coming out. Yeah. So with the pine, what happens, once it produces fruit, then when you harvest the fruit, don't root up. Because the main plant is going to die. Yeah. But then you can see it push out one or two or sometimes yeah. even more plants. Yeah. And then you can separate them and put them in other parts and then those will produce next year. And it's sweet too. It's yeah. the little ones, but they're sweet, like sugar. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, I have to say thank you so much for taking the time um, to show us your garden. And I tell you, you can literally eat healthy fresh yeah. food by just gardening every day i come out i cut the little the colored green yes. and, the, and the thing you know and it gives you some pride to and be able I get to cut tea. your own food. yes i feel good feel yes. good eating it yes yes and it lasts longer mm. because we went to jamaica in may we went to jamaica and we have a lot a lot of lettuce a lot and i said oh my god what am i gonna do with this